going to hear from Violet and Gail Akimo from Dartmouth College. Four years old, I was raped by a man that I respected, trusted, and called Papa. It wasn't until years later that I understood what had actually been done to me. I was late. My perpetrator would never be brought to justice. Mm. But then years later, as a young adult, I realized that this story wasn't just mine. It wasn't about me, but it was about thousands of women like me. Many of you in this room today probably share a story like mine. 70% of women in Uganda are sexually abused at least once in their lifetimes. Yes, 70%. It was also then that I realized that just like my perpetrators, our systems, political, social, and yes, even religious systems, fail us many times. We trust them to design policies that will give us access to better health care, education. But then, we wake up to find that our national resources have been plundered and we've been robbed blind by the very systems that we trust. <coughs> it also dawned on me that if I wanted to see change, I couldn't just sit back and wait for the system to do something about it. I had to get up and do something myself. It is for that reason but I am now a business and social entrepreneur, empowering women in my country, particularly disadvantaged rural farmers, buying their plantain at competitive prices. It is just my way of giving the power back to women in a society where almost everything is controlled by the men. Through my foundation, Mama's Jewels, I help girls who have been sexually abused find their purpose, heal, recover, find that them that they lost before they were abused. Because I know that you have to heal first before you're able to create change in your communities and impact the lives of others. Because I believe that every girl is a gem. My next step after the Mandela Washington Fellowship is to begin my journey, a PhD in public policy. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to change policy right from the grassroots, because I know it is imperative that we have policy change in order to protect our daughters, our jewels in our communities. We are all business people here, but let's just not be business people for ourselves. Let's be business people who are going to use our businesses to change the lives of those that are not in position to change their lives. Yes, I'm challenging each and every one of you here, whether you're in the private or public sector, do something with your business. Let it just not be about you. Let it be about everybody else especially the jewels in your communities, because it is these jewels who form the bedrock of our communities in the future. So, my fellow fellows, proud to be, fo proud to be presidential fellows, bearing the name tag of Mandela, President Barack Obama. What are you going to do when you get back home to protect the jewels in your communities? How are you going to use your businesses for good? That is my question to you all. You have come this far. Go home and show them. Create change. Thank you.